Influenza vaccine. Influenza is a viral respiratory illness that usually occurs during winter months. Because flu virus strains are always changing, a new influenza vaccine or flu shot is created every year and is usually available from September to April. CDC recommends all persons aged six months or older to receive annual flu shots, especially those who are at a high risk of getting the flu or developing serious complications from the flu. These populations include young children, pregnant women, adults, 65 and older, people with chronic medical conditions, such diabetes, cancer, heart disease, and a weakened immune system, and healthcare workers and first responders. Contraindications Even though flu shots are appropriate for most people, there are some contraindications including children younger than six months of age, people with a history of Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is an autoimmune disorder that causes severe paralysis, those with active infection, and a history of allergic reaction to flu shots. Please note that according to CDC, egg allergy is not a contraindication to receiving flu shots. There are two types of flu vaccines, an inactivated vaccine and a live attenuated influenza vaccine. The inactivated vaccine is the traditional flu shot that is given intramuscularly, usually in the deltoid muscle. It contains killed flu viruses or parts of the viruses. The live attenuated influenza vaccine, on the other hand, contains a live flu virus that is in a weakened form so that it does not cause the flu. It is given as a nasal spray. It is safe and effective for most healthy individuals from age 2 to 49 years to receive, including breastfeeding women. However, the live virus may become infectious in immunocompromised population and are contraindicated in those who are pregnant. Children younger than 2 years of age and adults older than 50 years of age. Children or adolescents who are on long-term aspirin because the live virus may increase the risk of Reyes syndrome. And those who care for or are close contacts of severely immunocompromised persons because the live virus may shed in secretions for up to two days after vaccination. Please refer to the CDC links in the description for a complete list of contraindications.